What is up YouTube? James Becky and welcome back to another episode of VGC 2018 Back to Back Vows. Today we're going to be featuring a brand new team and this team, we gotta make Lucario. We gotta make Lucario and honestly I'm actually pretty excited for this team. We got Mega Lucario, Snorlax, Rotom Wash, Incineroar, Landers Fan, and Tapu Lele. Let's get started. So, show some hype for Mega Lucario in the comment section down below. But, yeah, Mega Lucario, pretty interesting Pokemon. I like this team a lot. I played a lot with this team. Of course, I didn't like it when I just... Uh, I don't know. Like, I really like the team, how it plays. The problem is, I keep getting unlucky on Battle Spot when I practice with this team. Uh, it's frustrating. But, hopefully, we're not going to get unlucky today. And hopefully, we can win some battles. So, our opponent bring the Tapu Lele, the Ampharos, the Nidoqueen, Lorantis, Torkoal, and Aromantis. So, this is actually a really interesting team. Hmm. Really interesting team. Do you live medium? Does Aromantis live medium mash? Is the question. I wonder if you live medium mash from my uh, Lucario. Because if you don't, you're going down. <laughs> I think the safe play though is just to lead a uh, Rotom Wash Norlax with uh, Incineroar plus um, Lucario in the back. Yeah, I kind of like that. Landers doesn't do much in this game. Really, this team is all special attackers. Light screen on Rotom Wash, which I do have, uh, can do a lot of work in this matchup because of the fact that unless it's like super power contrary Lurantis, which then I have to be worried about. But even then, it has to boost up first, and that's going to take a little bit. So, let's see how this is going to go. Of course, a Lucario plus Snorlax is an interesting duo, both weak to fighting, but this... This duo has some tricks up its sleeve. It's a pretty fun duo, and I've actually got the trick up a lot. So hopefully, I do get to showcase it. I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, let's see how this is going to go. So I'm going to lead Rotom Snorlax, because I feel like Snorlax is the Pokemon that's going to be able to sweep in this game. We're going to see the top of the Aromantis. Not ideal, but not the worst case, I guess. I mean, Lele is threatening a lot of damage here, especially if it's the Shagger Psyche variant, which I could very well see. I think light screen first and belly drum is the best play possible because Lele if he wants to shout out Taki Rotom, it has to waste that turn. I get a free belly drum up. And if you want a trick room, I get a free switch into probably my Incineroar and can start clicking like Flare Blitz or any other move. I actually uh, might have to make some adjustments with this team because I feel like some of the move choices I made aren't that powerful on this team uh, compared to maybe some other attacks that I could have. But let's see how this is going to go. I'm going to see the Lele withdraw. Okay. Into Lorantis. That's fine. Because I get free light screen up, and then I get to Willis the Lorantis in a return. Well, Body Slam. I have Body Slam because I traded over to Snorlax. So, yeah. So, I'm going to Belly Drum up. I get a free Belly Drum, basically. So, if this is the regular Lorantis, I'm in a good position. I don't hope he has Superpower. I don't think he knocks out Snorlax in one hit. Charm. Okay. That's fine. I do have Willowis for a reason. I will click Willowis and I will go for a body slam into Lorantis because of the fact that I'd be able to burn it. I'd be able to survive any attack unless it's a Lumberry or Rostberry set. And then I'd be able to knock it out with body slam. And I do outspeed a Roman T, so that's actually really clean. With my Snorlax outside Trick Room. Although you could protect Trick Room, I guess. Oh, that could be bad. Although I don't think you want to risk the Snorlax because you don't know my speed stat. I don't know what a Romantis is on the top of my head. I do get a Willis into Lorantis, and I am faster than Lorantis actually, so I am able to get a Body Slam off and pick up the knockout, I think. Yeah. So that's great. This is the one of the perks of running a faster Snorlax. Uh, the main reason I actually run faster Snorlax on this team is the main reason is actually. Uh, Amoongus. Clear Smog Amoongus has been a pain, so I'm actually running my old Snorlax spread from VGC17, which was designed to be faster than other Snorlaxes, but still pretty slow. We got Torkoal coming out. I do have Light Screen up, so this is looking pretty good. Um, Incineroar would take any attack, I wonder. Uh, I don't really need Rotom much anymore. 
the play is just to hydro pump and honestly just recycle here because there's nothing my opponent can really do and I kind of want to get a free recycle off as a realm chase goes for protect which is completely okay is it a double I doubt it yeah hydro pump free damage on a Torkoal please don't be a weakness policy set for some random reason I get to do 50% Rotom Wash actually put in some work and recycle just to be a bit passive and safe because the Torkoal protecting the Romantis went for uh, the, let's say, Trick Room here. I'd rather have a Barry just in case for the later parts of the game. Heatwave gets a burn on Rotom. Not the worst case in the world. As Rotom Wash putting in some work. I like it. Hydro Pump and uh, Body Slam on what? Protect Trick Room? Heal Pulse maybe? Well, Heal Pulse isn't going to work. You have to Trick Room first. So I'll be able to get a lot of damage off this turn. Uh, Aromati should be 2 a KO'd. Ooh, okay. Torkoal staying in, Hydro Pump. Yeah, that misses the knockout, but that's all right. Body Slam gonna come out, because that Torkoal can't use Eruption currently. Uh, Body Slam almost actually picks up the knockout on Aromati. I actually didn't think it would be doing that much, even at plus four. But Snorlax is pretty strong. Charm gonna come out once again, so. Yeah, you're weakening my Snorlax's attack, but I'm still boosted and I still have a barrier. I could belly jump later if I really wanted to. Heat Wave, Rotom Voice Attack, no big deal. It wouldn't take him too much anyway. And gets a crit on Snorlax. But I did have my berry for that kind of reason if I did get crit. Electroweb into. This is the last turn of light screen and stuff. I think I want to go Electroweb here, and I think I want to just throw off a recycle. Yeah, because Aromatis really isn't doing much right here. I'd rather keep it on the field, and Aromatis is going to protect too, so that's actually excellent for me, because I'm able to get a Electroweb off and knock out the Torkoal. If I miss, it's actually pretty good for me, either way, but Electroweb is going to connect here. I uh, didn't have the best experiences with Electroweb Tapu Koko last week, but I think I'm going to knock out on Torkoal, and I do get a Recycle off. And I'm threatening some pretty heavy damage, and... Honestly, I'm kind of hoping my opponent's somehow able to knock out Snorlax. If you have Shadow Psyche or maybe Spec Psychic, you might be able to knock out Snorlax. But then I get the free switch into Mega Lucario, and Mega Lucario is looking to do some work, some beautiful work. As Lele is going to come out. Hmm, is it the play to Electroweb? No, play is always the light screen. I mean, I have Incineroar in the back, so I'm not really too worried about this duo. So I'll go for a Body Slam and a onto Roman Tisa and Light Screen. I'm not really worried about this combination. Actually, that Lele is slower, so I'm guaranteed the Light Screen. So Snorlax should guarantee survive any attack. As it's just going to be Psychic. I'm pretty sure this would be Specs. I'm going to go into Rotom. I do take it, but that's not Specs. That would have done a lot more if it was Specs. Body Slam going to come out into Roman Tisa, weaken that Roman Tisa. I actually just able to pick up the Knockout, and that's only plus two. Snorlax putting in a lot of work here. And I do get to proc my berry on Rotom. So this might be just a 4-0. Rotom Wash plus Snorlax. The walls. The walls. Okay. Man, I want to use Mega Lucario in this battle. Great. Electro Web. Body Slam, I guess. I mean, I don't think there's a way for my opponent to win. You can't even break through Rotom or Snorlax at all. I still have my Barry intact on Snorlax. I have Mega Lucario in the back. And as long as Lucario doesn't miss, we're good to win the game. And even then, I have Incineroar with Flare Blitz, unless you're like all out pummeling Lele. But you would have probably went for a turn one, to be honest. It's like you're gonna go on to Rotom. No big deal, probably just trying to make it not a 4 0. Body Slam. Oh, it's a, actually a Barry Lele, which is interesting on this team. On Trick Room, you probably would see more on offensive item, but this one running a defensive item instead. Not really too big of a deal. I don't really care if it's a 4 or not because uh, if I do play my opponent later, I don't want to reveal my back Pokemon. So I'll just Electroweb and Body Slam and just be able to finish up this game. And plus, with Body Slam, still putting in a lot of work against this Lele. Psychic gonna go out into the Rotom. Yep. But this game was wrapped up. So my opponent not getting a Trick Room was huge. It was cute that Charm turn one, that Charms uh, into Lorantis turn one. But I guess, well, you don't know my Snorlax, so I don't feel like you Trick Room there because then it would be like speed ties and stuff. So I can understand where my opponent's going for. Uh, if my opponent actually did risk the Trick Room and risk the Snorlax beats tears, like it could have been a whole different story. But yeah, I'm not sure if you wanted to. I think Lorantis is actually like 
think it's like there was it 30 or is it 30 or is it actually faster i think it's like 31 maybe so maybe my opponent thought it was like faster than my uh it was supposed to be faster than my uh it was supposed to be faster than my uh snorlax by like one point or something uh, i don't remember lance's speed tier based off the top of my head i feel like it's 30 but i can't exactly remember charm was actually pretty cute though <laughs> that was a pretty cute trick uh but luckily able to pull through it would have been actually pretty tough because that Lorantis could have actually destroyed the rest of my team. We got 1588 rated player from Japan as our second opponent of the day. Bring a... Okay, this team is like something that Lucario can appreciate. Like, look at this. This is like looking like Lucario food. I like this. This is looking like Lucario food. So... Is Lele good? Not really... Yeah, Lele's not that good in this matchup. I want to refrain from bringing Lele. I like Rotom as a lead. I like Rotom, Lucario. I want to lead Lucario just for the pressure. I know you're probably just going to lead, what, Faramosa? You're probably just going to lead Faramosa plus something. Which would be okay. Snorlax is pretty good. I like Landers to slow down the Gyarados if possible. I kind of like my uh, Incineroar too because... Although it's not really that great now that I think about like. Well, it is a switch into the top of Lele, which I guess could be appreciated, and I could fake out. I can't really fake out in this matchup. Well, if you don't bring Lele, and I could see you not bringing Lele in this matchup, so... Is it worth? Hmm. I like Snorlax because it can beat Nihiligo. It can take hits. This is tough. I think I'm going to bring Landers and Snorlax in the back. I'm not going to have a good Lele switching, which is the problem. I'm probably going to have to get a light screen up if Lele is brought here. I'm kind of expecting... To be honest, what I'm expecting is kind of like... Actually, would you bring Nihiligo in this matchup? Nihiligo is pretty abysmal, isn't it? You would bring Faramosa for sure. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to bring Snorlax. Although Snorlax could be good if I'm able to get set up properly. So, if I get a burn on Gyarados and able to knock out Faramosa, like Snorlax could win this game, which I could go based off. Although, there's still a knockoff from Bisharp. I don't know, there's a lot of things. Oh, Faramosa and Illegal does take the field, okay. Against my Rotom plus Lucario. Now, obviously, I don't want to take an all out pummeling. I think Electro Web is always to play here. I can Electro Web turn one and go on a Landorus. I just should outspeed these Pokemon afterward, and then I'm able to spam Earthquake. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. I don't... All our pummeling shouldn't knock out Rotom. As far as most is actually going to retreat. Interesting. Into the Infernape. Oh, that's amazing for me, actually. What does Night Lego go for? Protect? Because I don't think you... Well, then again, it's like really obvious Lucario would protect. So maybe you don't protect Night Lego. You go on the offense expecting Lucario to protect here. But this uh, Electro Web is going to be pretty huge. Yeah, it's a Sludge Bomb into Rotom. Yeah, okay. No Poison, which is great. And I hit both Electro Web. Beautiful. So that's a really, really nice... Really nice Electro Web here. And now I'm going to be able to Light Screen up. It's not... <sighs> well, I can't confirm the item on Nihiligo, but it's not Life Orb. So it can't knock out my Landers unless it's Specs. But even if it's Specs, it's not Specs. It's definitely not Specs. It would have done more. I'm going to Earthquake Light Screen here. I get a Light Screen up. I don't think you would go hard Gyarados ever because Gyarados was is such a risky play. You might go Faramosa here, potentially. Like, I could see you going for that. I could have Electro Web to keep up the pressure, but I feel like Light Screen is going to be good for later in the game as well. So I feel like going for it is better. Especially since he might just fake out Landers here and go for that Sludge Bomb. So I feel like the best play here is the Light Screen. As fake out is going to come out and you are going to stay in. So that's honestly perfect here. Oh, it's still faster than my... Well, yeah, it's still faster than my real time. Wait. Did Landers flinch before or after? Is it Scarf Nihiligo? Yeah, it looks like it's Scarf Nihiligo. I do get a light screen up. So Rotom's going to be able to take some barrages of attacks. And I'm able to fire off an Electro Web here and an Earthquake. Uh, my opponent really doesn't have switch to this combination. 
A Faramosa could be taking a lot. Gyarados in the back taking the Electro Web doesn't exactly appreciate it. Uh, these both Pokemon go down to Earthquake, even if Gyarados switches in. My opponent's in a really tough position right here. So, I wonder if I live two Sludge Bombs. Luckily, I didn't get poisoned by any, which was really nice because if I got poisoned by one, could have changed this game a little bit. Although now I think I'll be able to live any attack. Nihiligo might decide to switch out here, but again, you might just want to sack both these Pokemon. Actually, I could see you doing that. You could Sludge Bomb Rotom, then try to get in Gyarados plus um, Faramosa. Sludge Bomb. I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm going to be able to survive. Duo. So Earthquake going to come out. Knock out the Infernape as well as the Nihiligo. So... Very nice. Be able to like to, uh, to readjust my board position, but let's see here. Faramosa, Gyarados. Hmm. Lucario lives one waterfall from Gyarados at neutral, so I got to keep that in mind. Oh, Lele is in the back. Huh? I thought Lele would have been a switch in if my opponent had it. Okay. Damage output threatening by these Pokemon are scary though, since I lost my best switch in. Well, I already taken like a lot of damage with these Pokemon. Does Faramosa Ice Beam knock out Landers? I'm not sure. Because honestly, it's not Scarf Lele, so I honestly want to see if I can live an Ice Beam. If I can, that's amazing, but if I can't, this is going to be problematic. Uh, U turn actually. Shadow Psyche? Oh, that actually knocks out. Golly. Oh, it's actually a max attack life orb. Yeah. Size shock. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't fail though. Rock tomb. Okay, that's pretty good. That that is nice damage on the Faramosa. That means your 203 speed, my landers, is gonna be faster. Yes. Okay. So I can go Lucario here. And as long as I don't miss Meteor Mash, I do win the game. Yes. So I wanted to Rock Tomb there because honestly, it could have been bad. I felt like Rotom might have lived to Psychic through Light Screen, and then the only way Fairmos can knock me out is through an Ice Beam. But luckily, my opponent didn't go for it. I'm going to go for Meteor Mash into Tapu Lele and a Super Power into the Fairmosa. Super Power won't be able to knock out Fairmosa at that range. As the match is actually going forward for it. So my opponent could have actually had a chance if I missed Meteor Mash. Because that that was a possibility. Although maybe my opponent thought I could have close combat the Faramosa. Maybe doesn't have Protect on Faramosa. Which would be fair. But like, uh, I don't like how I had my positioning for the end game. Maybe I should have kept Rotom healthier and uh, sack the Snorlax. Or maybe I should have just scouted for Landris. And yeah, maybe I should have scouted Landris. Uh, go into Snorlax. Go back into Landris. Oh, the problem is I'm not getting the KO on Faramosa, and then I need to knock out Faramosa so Lucario can beat the Lele. Unless it has sub on Lele, then if it gets a free substitute, then I'm absolutely screwed, but that's really uncommon on that kind of team. But, yeah, okay. So we're going to be able to win two. Nice. Some interesting teams. I mean, Hyper Offense and Hard Trick Room. So some really interesting teams we're facing, but Mega Lucario putting it through. Rotom Watch has been putting in a lot of work though. I didn't think it was gonna be putting in this much work because I originally was based I was going off the core of um the Zapdos, Zapdos, Fini, Incineroar, Landorus uh core, which is common for like Gardevoir stuff, like Latias stuff. But I didn't exactly want Fini or Zapdos on this team, I don't know why. I kind of want to try Rotom because I really felt like Rotom could have been cool. And it's like a better switch into Landorus. Like, it's speed control. Well, Tailwind is also speed control. I wish, imagine if Rotom got Tailwind. It gets Defog. Why not Tailwind? But like, um, I felt like Rotom could have been more useful because one, it can take it's obviously immune to Earthquake, which is nice, and not super effective against Rock Slide, which is really good. Willis could have been pretty nice. Reflect could have been really good. And honestly, I felt like Rotom was just more of my playstyle. With Mega Lucario, at least. I don't know. Like, I've actually tried out the Zapdos Fini. It's actually pretty good. If you do want to try that out, I highly recommend trying it over um, uh, Lele and... Was it Lele and 
Rotom, but I felt like Lele might have been nice because of the three fighting weaknesses I do have on this team. And for our last opponent, we're going against a dual mega team, looks like Mawile, Kangaskhan, Cresselia, Feeny, Landis Varian, and Incineroar. Oh, can I get the trick off? Can I get the trick? Okay, so I actually really struggle against um, Landris plus Cresselia. I've noticed that. That's probably the worst lead for me. I think the way to beat it is go Landris as a lead with Snorlax. And then have Incineroar. I mean, not Incineroar. Lucario. Actually, I don't want to really bring Lucario. Actually, no. I want to bring Lucario. It's for my uh, game plan. And... Landers in the back or Incineroar? I think Landers because Intimidate's better. Although Incineroar's fake out can also be really good. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, hopefully, my opponent leads like Incineroar or Landers because I could get the trick off. And I really want this trick off. Hopefully, it works too because if my opponent leads Landers, I'm gonna have to like make some predictions. So, let's see what my opponent's gonna lead. I'm hoping it's Incineroar, because if it's Incineroar, that'd be amazing for me. Gonna lead Lele Snorlax here against the... Landers Cresselia. Yep, they always lead this. Perfect. Uh, let's see if it's Scarf Landers. It is Scarf Landers, okay. Since it's Scarf Landers, I... <sighs> Since it's Scarf Landers... Are you gonna U-turn, or are you gonna knock off? Well... Scarf doesn't really run knockoff, they run superpower. This scene definitely has Trick Room. I don't think it has Icy Wind. I think I'm gonna taunt turn one and go hard in the Landers. Ah, I'm not gonna get the playoff. If it was a Salt Fist Landers, I'd be more confident about the plan, but since it's not Incineroar or something, yeah, I'll just make the safe play, go in the Landers. At least it shouldn't be Icy Wind from this Cresselia. That's at least a good thing to note. I do get Intimidate off on. I'm still thinking you're gonna U turn here. I don't see a reason not to U-turn. Oh, ah, oh, you did have knockoff. Okay, but you're locked into knockoff. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, and you do trick room. Perfect. I don't know who you have in the back though. Uh, nothing really switches into Moonblast plus U-turn. Well, so I'll go for Moonblast and U-turn. Okay, so it's knockoff on Landorus. It's Scarf. You're gonna hard switch. Yep into Feeny? Yeah, okay. So that's ideal for me because I get momentum and like these Pokemon don't threaten Snorlax so I can belly drum up. Oh, I wish I got the plan though. I'll tell you the plan after the battle but like, uh... Ooh, good damage. U-turn. Good damage. Uh, Moonblast probably doesn't knock it out so I would have to go for Shad Psyche if I want to knock out the Feeny. A bit unfortunate. I'm gonna go uh, my Snorlax here. Uh, does it have Icy Wind? I don't think it would on this team. This obviously looks like a hard trick, like more of a trick room team. Yeah, you have Ice Beam instead. So Snorlax is going to be able to eat that up. And... Let's play Moonblast. Uh, Shower Taiki here? Yeah, Shower Taiki is not bad here. And honestly, I like ret I like Body Slam a lot. Yeah, I like Body Slam. I don't like Belly Drumming here because of the fact that if this Cresselli has Helping Hand, which I could very well see, like Lander's Helping Hand Superpower can knock out Snorlax, and I don't want that to happen. So I'd rather go for this play. As you're going to withdraw Cresselia, okay, into Lander's, okay, free damage. Ah, that's actually probably perfect for me, right? Yeah, I think that's honestly perfect. Yeah, because I knock out Feeny. So I get rid of Feeny, which is really nice. Getting rid of Feeny opens up a door to Mega Lucario. As well as my Lander switching in. Because since it's not Icy Wind, if I call the right slot, it's actually working out pretty well. The problem is I don't know what you're going to go for with the Landris. So I get Shadow Psyche off. I do knock out the Feeny. And I get a bit of chip on the Landris. And that bit of chip is always nice. So, how much does Buy Slam do? Probably 20. 15, okay. I'll take it. I wonder who your back Pokemon is. All while. Okay. I 
I mean, mm, I definitely want to keep Snorlax around. I just don't know if you're gonna knock off here or U-turn or something like that. I think I go Moon. I think I Moonblast here, and I think I go Hard Landers again. But that's kind of obvious, right? Well, you're not gonna Earthquake yourself, right? I think you go on the offense. Or you might U-turn. I think it's very likely you actually U-turn. Mm, I think the best place to Moonblast... I don't know, you could U-turn here, which is what I'm expecting. I'm just gonna go Landers anyway. Because I get the Intimidate off in the Mawal. Although, maybe I could have moon Moonblast in the Mawal because that puts it in close combat range. Mm, there's a lot of retrospect that I can do here, but I think Intimidate is the best play. I think you're gonna U-turn, and I think you're gonna just attack with Mawal. The play I wanted to do, honestly, was switching uh, Landers for my Tapaleta and Belly Drum, but that's kind of risky if you do go for the knockoff, because I, I absolutely need some Yeah, you're gonna U-turn. Should've called that. It's in a Lele, okay. Are you targeting my Landers slot? Because honestly, I feel like that would be better for me. So how they gonna come out. I get a bit of chip on the Cresselia, which is nice for Lucario later in the game. Oh, a lot of damage, actually. And there's the Iron Head. So I could have taunted the Cresselia. I could have Belly Drum there. Honestly, I was really tempted to, but, like, uh, not to play. I think I go Snorlax here. I'm going to go Snorlax. And I think I'm going to try to belly drum up here. Because you're going to switch out Cresselia probably into Landers, I would assume. So I'm going to U-turn here. I think if I will... Oh, wow. Protect. This could be huge. Going to get a U-turn off. Oh, this is huge. Going to get Lucario in. Are you going? You're not going for Trick Room, right? You're probably just Ice Beam into Landers. Yeah. That still works, though. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. I can't get Frozen. I get Belly Drum up. I'm threatening the Mawal now. I kind of want to call Mawal switching out into um, Landers, to be honest. On what's obviously probably a Stomping Tantrum, right? I mean, it's so obvious. I honestly want a belly drum. And I think Meteor Mash, because even if he stays in with Mawa, I don't feel like this is bad, because I would knock out the Cresselia, unless you switch out Cresselia for that slot, because Body Slam will still put Mawa in range of close combat, and you are going to stay in with both. Hey. Okay. Wow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting. It, nice. Okay, so I knock out Cress here. Meteor Mash should KO. Yeah. Wow. My opponent allowed me to get a double knockout. I honestly thought you were going to go for the other thing. Oh, wow. It's even a play rough in the Lucario. <laughs> I survived that. Body slam. That's not how I expected to turn at all. That's beautiful damage on Moal. That's absolutely beautiful damage on Moal. You're going to go for Rock Slide. You're probably going to slide. <sighs> okay. I win the game if I knock out Landers. I go for Body Slam and I always hard switch into my own Landers. That's not how I expected at all because if I just Stomping Tantrumed the Mawal and Meteor Mash, I won the game. So I'm actually really surprised by that uh, play. Maybe my opponent fought a special Lucario and fought Cresselia could live any attack. So maybe that's the reason why. But then you would lose your Mawal, which is pretty big in this matchup. I go Landers here. Your Mawal's at minus two, and the Landers is at minus one. I just gotta figure out how do I maneuver. Yeah, Rock Slide. Ooh, that's a big dodge. Like, damage wise, it didn't matter. But, like, you're Iron Heading, right? You're going for the flinch. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going for. Ooh, and my opponent doesn't get it. That should be game. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, Landers goes down. Beautiful. That rock side miss was mattering because, well, my opponent had to flinch me out if my opponent wanted a chance, but it was still a chance. 
in the U-turn and stomping tantrum. Honestly, just actually I could ah the superpower to pick up the knockout. I'm not sure, but I not I'm not sure to be honest. It might have might not, but I'm gonna be able to pick up three wins in today's episode. Mega Lucario, okay, it didn't get a sweep, which I would have liked, but support its partner Snorlax pretty and Rotom Wash pretty much the MVPs of today's episode. Like the duo was pretty insane. But, okay, so the game plan I was going for was hoping, okay, so here's my logic between Lucario plus Snorlax combination. I'm going to give you the secret trick no one knows. So, how do you deal with Snorlax in this format, right? You knock off the berry and try to prevent them from being able to recycle, right? Because that's probably... Uh, Snorlax's best tool. So what they always do with my lead, I bait them to knock off the Snorlax, right? And most Lucario's actually, if they people expect it, they run Inner Focus. Mine doesn't. It runs Justified. So what I can do is switch out my Snorlax, turn one into Lucario, take a knockoff, get a Justified boost, and then plus one Medium Ash KOs most Landers that aren't like max HP. So... Yeah, pretty insane. But uh, that's actually something I've been able to get off a lot of, and it's actually really fun, especially in the best of one setting, because giving Lucario a justified boost, I could sword dance up if I if they're like something like that. That's why I was like really adamant about do like Scarf Landis doesn't run knockoff all the time, so I was like, like do you have knockoff where you're gonna have superpower and you go for like help and superpower turn one? That's why Landis was the safe switch in there. But, mmm, man, that would have been juicy if I caught the, uh, if I caught the knockoff Gwen and Lucario, because that would have actually been pretty insane. But, yeah, that's the logic behind the Lucario plus Snorlax combination. But if you did enjoy this episode of VGC 2018 Vector Browse, please leave a like down below, show some support, as well as you can check out the rest of my social medias down below, the playlist, the team, if you do want to go try it out, there is a pacement down below. And, yeah. Uh, feel free to check out that kind of stuff and yeah um check out my social medias check out the previous episodes check out my side series have a great day people i will catch you around in another video